Uh, so I'm Pop Pop, and Evie calls me Pop Pop all the time. But what's awesome is that if Indrani's with me, which is most of the time, Indrani is Nana, and that is Evie's choice. She just started calling her Nana. She and called her Nana? Nana. You'll know what that means, right? That's Spanish grandma. Like is it really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I have a Nana. Really? Yeah, she calls her... My, uh, my, my ex-wife is Lala. That's preferred for her. Lala, yeah. Yeah. And Which is also Spanish for aunt. Is it? Okay, well, she's Lala is, is my ex-wife. Nana is Indrani. And whenever we're together, almost every single time. I mean, she always calls me Pop Pop, and it's wonderful. Like Ashley just said, like I had left there, and she said, Evie was asking for you. But if we're at the door, she sees me, and she sees Indrani, and she goes straight to Indrani. Nana! That's it's really so sweet. that... Because I have a... Yeah, and that was her choice. My, she just started calling her Nana my of, step, of her own accord. My stepfather is Hispanic, and his whole family is Mexican, right? Mm -hmm. And so my my, uh, my I have a, his mom, who's my grandmother, I call her grand... Um, what a, why am I forgetting what Sex I call Sex lady! Yeah. <laughs> uh, granny. But then her parents, who are now uh, deceased, um, they're Nana and Popo, oh. which is grandma and grandpa. Uh, I had no idea. And, and, and then I have a tia Lala. Wow. <laughs> a tia which is, Lala. Which is crazy aunt. Nice. That's <laughs> Isn't loco crazy? No, there's, there's different ways. Loco in like, the cabeza. Like if you call crazy tia Lala, this is crazy aunt. Crazy aunt. Ah. Yeah. All right. Anyways. You don't say like chinga tu madre. You know, uh, like no, that? I say uh, pinche hotos. Yeah, that's good too. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. Me llamo is Ricardo. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for yeah. more juicy content. Yeah, como se dice juicy content in español? Um, puto. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, you guys taught me Hindi uh, and, 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 and uh, Indian I don't even know. language curse words. I don't words. know either one of those. I know all the Spanish curse words. Do you? Yes. Um, but... <laughs> That's that's all I ever cared to learn. And I worked in a lot of restaurants, and so the people yeah, that I mean, the yeah. cooks and the people in the back, they would call me that. The so. first full <laughs> sentence I could say with fluidity to to uh, Pepe and Miguelito was because I wanted to talk to them in Spanish when I worked. So I would say, "Necesito más agua en la mesa 21, por favor." Esto para nuestros pantalones, puto. Oh, sí. <laughs> That means, pan, there, that, means, pantalones? that means there's a dog in it's your pants, bitch. <laughs> muy magnífico. <laughs> mi pero es muy magnífico. You could also say, um, mi corazón en fuego por ti. Your heart, heart is what? On, my heart is on fire for you. Oh. That's what you say to the, the lunch ladies <laughs> when, you, when you want them to give you something free. <laughs> <laughs> eh, mi tu corazón en fuego por ti. <laughs> And they're like, ah, mira. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I have fun. Yeah. Today we got a new uh, series announcement. Good. Uh, for Amazon. It's hey. With, uh, with Siddharth Malhotra. You'd recognize that yeah, name? I absolutely he was do. From the military film. Was it last year or the year before that, that one came out? I think it was last year, right? I don't know. It's been a long year. Yeah. Uh, but this is called Indian Police Force, and it's directed by Rohit mm. Shetty, who's known for big action films. Uh, this should be pretty cool. Um, so this is just an announcement. It's not a full on trailer. It's just a. It's just an announcement video. Um, is it a 2022 series or 2023? Do we know? I don't. Um, I would hope it's early enough in the year that they're dropping this thing this year. We should be getting a lot of series. We just haven't gotten them yet. I'm so happy Barry's dropping season oh, yeah. three. I'm gonna be so excited. Oh, and Stranger Things is finally dropping that season. Well, that's good. They just lost some. I know. <laughs> They need it. <laughs> Netflix needs Stranger Things more than ever. It's so funny because I was talking to my group of friends who I, I have a cinema club with, and I'm like, they're not doing anything in American stuff. No. But Indian stuff, they're killing it. Yeah. The, I mean, them and Amazon and other Yeah, platforms. but the problem with India is just like the problem here. They're too freaking expensive. Yeah. So, uh, and anyway. did you hear about the billionaire investor? In who, Twitter? Yeah, yeah, Elon Musk, right? No, 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 not him. The, the a billionaire investor in Netflix who was like, okay, I can't take the losses anymore. So he pulled out of it yesterday yes. as it was dropping to the tune of the loss was $400 million. That'll hurt. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ouch. Uh, here we go. All Let's right. just get into this. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, look at those lenses. Boom, 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 boom. Make sure those are blanks. Oh! There's the walk. Nice. Did you see the colors and the light? Nice. Interesting. So are they doing a Masala series? Because he... If you didn't know, um, is the guy that is that has that cop universe that has, I believe, a Jay Devgan, Ranveer, oh, and uh, the um, and uh, um, Akshay, the one that just came out. That, yeah, that we watched, and they're walking in slow mo, just like that. Yeah, as yeah, they come yeah. Around the corner, and I think those are those are massive masala kind of films. Um, well, it's promising to be the biggest action series. Um, okay, yeah, he's definitely that. So. Uh, Maybe it may obviously OTTs are relatively new to India, but obviously series aren't. Mm. So how I'm assuming they haven't done anything like this. Right? An action series is going to be really, really great. Um, and so I don't think we've seen it, but this was that big one. We reacted to the teaser when it, we went to India. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is the Ranveer one. Right, Simba. Uh, Simba. Ranveer. <laughs> he was the director of uh, Ranveer Ching Returns, the, that ad. Yep. Remember? I <laughs> do was, remember that. Which was amazing. Uh, <laughs> Um, but yeah, so he's known for... Well, this will be the first that I know of, like, Masala. banging action series. Well, yeah, obviously we've had some, and Family Man would obviously be the closest with what they do with their action, and but they're it's not a primarily action series. Correct. They've got some action, like, moments, but... Especially their long shots, obviously. Yeah, the long ones. Yeah. Um, but the, the show's pr primarily a drama. I would love just a full-blown, really well-done, good stunt work, good CGI Well, you know you're going to have the actor... For it, yeah, uh, because he's a good actor. Everything we've seen him in, um, in the the film I was talking about before, was what the one with Runveer, Akshay, and no, no, Ajay? no, no, the, the, the with the lead of this. Oh, excuse me, it was uh, this guy. Oh yeah, the uh, the army film that we love so much, Shirsha, Shirsha, yeah. Um, and so, uh, I just don't know what they're trying to bring to it. If they're if it's going to be just his balls to the wall action fun mm. or if it's going to be a balls to the wall action masala right or if it's going to be more kind of like family man mizapur have drama but then just some and is it going to be i imagine it's going to be amped up for tv entertainment but is it going to be like some shows here there's a show that there's been a show called swat uh and the csi shows and all the other crime shows and that are actually often based on real cases they're, they're not reenactments of the cases, but the script and the storyline is actually based on real events that took place. I yeah. don't know if that's what they're going to do. Yeah, I'm I'm so curious about this. And they didn't they didn't say a date, mm. right? I didn't see it. Uh, let's see it. Maybe I just didn't go. No, I don't remember I seeing a date. a date. Read this. Prime Video joins forces with Rohit Shetty Pictures for its most ambitious action-packed series titled Indian Police Force. The eight-part, high-octane action series marks the digital debut of one of India's most exciting and accomplished filmmakers, Rohit Shetty, known for his big-ticket mass entertainers. Yeah. The series will present Siddharth Mohatra in a never-before-seen avatar of a cop hero. Currently under production, the Amazon original series aims to become the beacon of high-quality Indian entertainment globally with a simultaneous launch in more than 250 countries and territories. Interesting. So, yeah, I haven't seen any obvious i don't think we've seen any of this director's films mm. um really i don't think so um really yeah um because obviously we didn't we didn't end up seeing the the one with renvir okay right. um and obviously I, we've heard about simba forever simba but yeah i mean no those are big masala hey juani hey juani oh he just gets no thanks. no he just get a he just gets a thanks uh chennai express which is a um I think a Topeka and Shah Rukh Khan film. Uh, I think it's a big masala film as well. Singham, which I believe is the Ajay Devgan starter one of the cop universe. Right. Is, so, let me see. 
I don't think we've seen anything of his. There, yeah, I think yeah. you're correct. There's nothing. Nothing, nothing. we've seen of his. Um, but but Noah's name. Oh, yeah. And we've, I think we've seen him as a producer on some things as well. He's known as the big action guy. And so I don't know. I, I can't tell you if this is a, a correct equivalent, but obviously Michael Bay is the big massive explosion guy. Yeah. Not really known for great cinema, but sometimes fun cinema. If it's not just a, his normal shtick, right? Right. Because he's almost become a meme now. With, Sadly, with, with with his stuff, it has become but a cliche. He has made some good films. He has. Um, obviously, the first Transformers, I think, was a good one. I agree. Um, and then, didn't he direct one of the Pirates films? Or was that? Um, I don't think so. No, but I've brought up Thirteen Hours is my by far my favorite Michael Bay film. Yeah, and so there there are times when you know they can kind of collide. The yeah. action and a good film. Uh, that's a that's a terrible picture of and, one I would do. Oh, sincerely, like one of the like one of the most legendary action, but also is a good film is Die Hard. Did he direct that? No, 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 no. Oh. I'm just talking about the genre. Gotcha. The genre that's just like picture perfect action and story combination with great actors and uh, really well staged action sequences. R R R, buddy. Yeah, that's 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 <laughs> that's top beyond. notch right there. That's that's obviously the Marvel universe is the pinnacle of all action with great story and great acting. Mm -hmm. uh, I was just thinking about RDJ and how what an incredible job he did in Endgame. He 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 it could have merited a supporting actor nod. He did so well in that. He directed Bad Boys, <laughs> oh. which is a fun film. That's a good film um, in terms of just entertainment. It like it's, I didn't realize that it was him. So like, it'd be super interesting. You guys can let us know what kind of director he is. Does he make just entertaining films, or he does was he make an intern for Raiders of the Lost Ark? Oh, was he? Apparently so. Which means he came under the came under the cape of either Lucas or Spielberg. And so, yeah. Or Frank Marshall. Means he worked uh, with um, Amrish Puri. Well, if he did the third film, because that was the first. Raiders was the very, very oh, first okay, one. Yeah. I always forget them. Yeah. Because whenever I watch one, I watch them all. It's interesting. They added the Indiana Jones later. When it first came out, it was just called Raiders of the Lost Ark. And then they started calling them Indiana Jones For and the. Yeah. And they've brand. gone back and changed the title now. And now they call it Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah. For, for more of a branding. Brand. But, anyways, the, it looked Look good. Fun. I mean, well, nice we'll announcement. We'll see how the trailers are and we'll see uh, how the series looks when it comes out. But that's exciting because we should be getting a lot of series this year. Some sequels to the stuff we've watched and, I can't, and some new stuff. I can't think of anything right now that I would, I'm watching or know of or would care to watch that is this genre in. TV anywhere in the world right now. Yeah. So that would be different. It's a great lane for them to be driving. Later in. this year, we're going to get two like medieval fantasy films. Uh, we sure are. So we we'll, sure are. I'm ready we'll for that. See, we'll see if that'll be overkill. I, I'm, I'm, which of the two do you think is going to be mo the most and more successful of those two, do you think? I don't know. I can't tell yet. And there's they no could, way to they predict. They could both suck. I'm hoping they're both phenomenal. Oh, yeah. I yeah. hope they're we both We never phenomenal. want something to be terrible. But yeah, they could be. They yeah. could suck as well. Yeah, they really could. Uh, but anyways, let us know about this and about this filmmaker uh, down below. Just